Looking Parents, Mrs. P here again, and tonight our video is on converting. Your students looked at and we reviewed again today in class conversions. And when I say conversions, I don't mean like going from the metric system to the uh, customary system or seeing how many cups are in a gallon. I'm talking about conversions in the mathematical families of fractions, decimals, and percents. I always like to tell the kids these are kind of like cousins or in the same members of the family because fractions can become decimals, decimals can become percents, and those combinations can be a difference um, in variations. I can go from a percent to a decimal, a decimal to a fraction. All of them are interchangeable. But they do have to know some key things about that. Fractions, of course, we talked about that last night, and we're going to know that it's a denominator without the I in it. So if I have, just say, for instance, uh, 46 hundredths as a fraction, that lovely thing has the numerator and the denominator, how many parts I have, how many parts I want out of a hundred, or how many I want out of a whole. Now when I do that and I want that fraction to go to a decimal, it's a very simple process of just looking where the fraction ends, where it states it's at. Um, so I look at this and I see 46 hundredths. Well, decimal placement tells me that tenths and hundredths so I can simply take that 46 and place it in the hundredths position where it ends in the hundredths position in decimal placement. Now if I have a fraction and I can see it here easily and I can say that that's 46 hundredths because it has what we call a base 10 number, then I can really be reading that fairly easy to turn it into 46 hundredths as a decimal. But if I have a fraction that is not a base 10 number, for instance, 5 eighths, I can't just look at that and turn it into a decimal by what I see. Kids will try to do this all the time. They'll go, oh, it's 5.8 or it's 0.58. Well, that's not based on 100, which what we look at for decimals is 10 base system. It's not a tenth, it's not a hundred, it's not a thousandth. So writing fractions as decimals does not work that way. If it's not a base 10 number, then you have to get that into a decimal formation by using division. That's what that lovely line stands for, and I showed your students today. 5 eighths is the same as 5 eighths, which is the same as 5 divided by 8. Those are all the same notation. So for me to change this, ladies and gentlemen, to a decimal, I then have to use division. And we know that numerator and that den denominator has a certain position. The numerator must go in, and the denominator must go out, and I must do my division that way. I can't take 8 into 5, so I add a decimal and a 0, and then I start my division process. 8 into 50, bringing that decimal up, 6, 48, leaves me 2, so on and so on, so that I know now that 5 eighths is a decimal at 0.6 something something if I wanted to work it all the way out. So here's my fractions. I can turn them into decimals using base 10, looking at place value, or I can use division. Now what happens if I want to turn these things into percents? Well, we know that I can use a process called multiplication and division. Most students don't like to do that. Um, most adults don't like to do that. If we can make a little less work on ourselves, we will. If I want to turn this lovely thing into a percent, I'm going to use a multiplication process. But instead of having to do that, since I know percents are based on 100%, key being hundredths, knowing that the decimal spot for hundredths is in the second position, I can simply move the decimal two spots, two times, to the right. And that 46 hundredths, turns into 46%. Now kids get that fairly easy because 46 hundredths is 46 hundredths. So I probably made 46% on my test. It gets more difficult if they see something and say five eighths was really six tenths. How do I move that decimal? Well, I don't see two spots, but I know I can still go once, twice, meaning in the hundredths position, and I would get 60%. So no matter what, I'm moving that decimal to the right two times. And I told kids today, look at it this way. Decimal, 2%. Look at the alphabet. Decimal, D, 
percent P moving to the right. What happens though if I want to convert this back? I want to take 60 back to a decimal and 46 percent back to a decimal. Well, it would seem logical that I would just move it back the other way. A percent back to a decimal, P back to D going left. So I move the decimal two times to the left. And that would then take it once, twice, and put it back at 0 0.6 or 6 tenths. That's just a really quick kind of version. I know it's not quick, I say that every day. It's not quick, but this is the things that we are going through in class with your students. So if they have questions, they can always ask me. If you have questions, always ask me. I hope these videos help and we'll keep giving you more as time goes on. Have another great evening and I'll see your students tomorrow.